the Moving Math Forward intervention program that is being developed this school year um, and will be available in the spring uh, for those of you who want to purchase it for the 2022-2023 school year. Um, it is still um, being developed. I'm still writing it. I'm taking it unit by unit and I have a um, a small group of um, participants who are piloting it this year in their classrooms. Um, so I want to give you a look at it. Um, I'm gonna, we're going to take a look at the sixth grade program currently. Um, it's available in both print or digital, or you can get both print and digital. And this is going to be set up like an annual subscription. Um, it is not going to be super expensive, um, but it will be something that renews every year. That way um, your school can decide if it's something that you want to continue using or um, something you just want to try out for a year. So um, let's look at the print first. Um, so each grade level program, there's fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and algebra one, comes with a pre-assessment. And the pre-assessment is broken down. It's got common core standards um, listed just on this first page so you know what, what is being assessed. And then um, the assessment allows students to rate their confidence level with each question. Um, not necessarily whether or not they think they got it right, but basically, you know, when they read the question, are they like, oh, this is super easy, or maybe I'm not so sure, or oh my gosh, I have no idea what to do. So that's the pre-assessment, and it of course comes with a key. Um, again, this is just the print version. Um, and then progress monitoring, you have this where you can keep track of the student's um, understanding of each specific skill, and this is also available in an editable version. So if you don't teach Common Core, if your standards read just a little bit differently, um, you can certainly edit this. And then this is an example of one unit. So um, each page explains um, each unit explains the four components for each lesson. Um, there's a pre-assessment, sometimes there's multiple assessments depending on how many skills are included, and then you get the Common Core and the TEKS um, alignment there. So the pre-assessment is just very basic um, because again, remember this is intervention, this is not the full curriculum. And then you break down by skill. So um, the first skill with the sixth grade curricula or sixth grade intervention is greatest common factor. So for every skill, you'll have a data tra tracking page You'll have an explore page where students kind of dive into the concept. Even though this is intervention, they've already been exposed to it. So this explore page is not the first time the student is seeing this concept. This is reiterating it. This is for the students who need the extra help. Um, and then there's explain, which um, takes the explore and breaks it down a little bit more. This is where you might get into definitions, steps, and some guide. The practice on this page is meant to be guided practice. It's not meant to be independent. There is also um, error analysis um, where students have to pick, decide what's wrong and then um, give the correct answer. And then there's just basic practice. Um, with some of the error analysis, depending on the skill, um, like here with division, the steps are shown. So the students have to look through the steps and figure out where the mistake was and then um, how to correct it. So again, this is the print version. And then digital, um, this is what it looks like um, on my end, and this is gonna be everything that's available. So with tracking for digital, you have it in um, Google Sheets here, and what you can't see off the screen is it says student name and then class score notes. And again, this is, it's Google Sheets, it's totally editable. You can change this. Um, and then at the bottom, I'm putting in uh, unit tracking, which I haven't done yet. But again, remember, this is still being developed. So at the bottom of this Google Sheets, it'll be unit by unit tracking. So kind of like what you saw here um, for each unit, each lesson, you'll be able to keep track of how they do with each of the four um, uh, steps, the explore, explain, correct, and practice. Okay, so, and then there's also the pre-assessment. The pre-assessment comes in slides or forms, which are self-correcting. So the slides, let's get this open. So um, students will have to, they can drag and drop. Um, sometimes they have to type in their answer. It really just depends on the question type. And then there's also the forms version of the pre-assessment where of course, students just, they go through, they answer, and then just like with the print, um, they can rate 
their um, confidence level. So after each question, they just label it one through five how they feel about it. Um, with the slides pre-assessment, um, they also have that here. It says this question was, and then they can just drag a face so they can let you know how they feel about that question as well. Okay, and then let's look at unit one. Um, so there's, you can see there's audio, there's video. Um, there are assessments. The assessments with each individual, individual unit are just in forms. So they're very quick and easy for you to assess. And then um, let's look at just the first unit. So this is what each, regardless of grade level, they all look the same. Um, so your first page will have the skills and then they can click and go to that skill here. Um, there's also, they have a virtual whiteboard. I like to have this available. So if students don't have um, the ability at home to write on paper, they can just use this whiteboard and they can show their work and then they can screenshot it and then put it right back into the work. Um, so that's linked there. That's also linked at the top of every slide. Um, some skills have a grid slide depending on what the skill is, um, which just takes them here where they can type in if they need to use grids to line things up. They can drag and drop for division problems um, and so on. So let's go back to the beginning. So just like with print, there's an explore version here where students um, drag and drop. They explore the concept. Um, so with greatest common factor, there's rainbows, there's cakes. Um, if you see this on a slide, um, they can oops, click and get a video explanation of it. I'll play it super quick so they can see. Oh, um, I'm not, find the greatest common factor. I'm not sure if you can hear the audio, but using the cake method is upside down. Now we're going to go down to our next layer of the cake. So there's the video. Um, if you see that, that means there's sound. Um, if you see a video that just looks like this, it shows the problem being worked out without sound. Um, so it's just meant to be something that students can quickly look at to check their answers. Um, because again, intervention should not be completely independent. You shouldn't be giving this to students and having them check every single question um, on their own. That's why there's not videos for every single question in the program, because it's meant to have you be involved. And then um, identify each error and answer correctly. Students can type here what the error is and then they can give the correct answer here. Um, so you can just see there's a bunch of different ways to, um, a bunch of different ways that get students involved, they, how they work through this, um, how they explore new topics um, and so on. So, um, and if you see just the audio, it's just me reading it so they can listen. Solving, you first have to identify the information you are given. Then you'll need to determine what the problem is asking you to find. So the audio is not everywhere. It's mostly on the explore and or the explain um, slides. You can see here, I'll walk through, walk them through here. Um, and all of this is removable. So if you don't want them to have the video here, if you don't want them to have the audio, you can just make a separate copy of the slides and then delete it. So you can, um, they're very customizable. There's also an actual editable version here where you can edit all of the content on the slides. So the difference is um, with these slides here, let me just go to number five as an example. All of the questions here are secured in the background. Um, so students can't change anything, but if you wanted to customize it for your class, then you have your own version where you can customize the questions and that's for every single unit. So um, there's a look inside. I am really excited about the way this is coming together. Um, I can show you really quickly. This is um, how far I've gotten so far. Let me slide this in so you can see. So each unit is broken down like this. Um, each unit has a Google form or, or Google Sheets with their, this is for the assessments. Um, and then Google Slides, Google Slides key, editable slides, print version, print version key, and editable print version. So again, you have the option to join just the print, just the digital, or both. Um, so working through, I still have a lot more work to do, but it will 100% be ready by the spring. Um, so those of you who want to try it out next school year will be able to have access to it. So if you have any questions, just let me know. But I'm really, really looking forward to this, and um, I'm really excited about how it's coming together.